Hello, my name is Larry Brotman, and I'm the GIS resource for the New Mexico Taxation Revenue Department. GIS is an acronym for Geographic Information Systems. In addition to publishing web maps like the one you'll be seeing in this session, I facilitate the development and maintenance of our GIS map layers, including gross receipts, location codes, and tax rates, property tax rate district layers, and New Mexico Incorporated Place Boundaries. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use our TRD gross receipts, location code, and tax rate web map. There are a few ways to reach the gross receipts map. The most direct is from our TRD front page. And right now, the map is available from this banner um, up near the top of the page. You can scroll left or right through this banner using uh, these arrows. Right now, it appears as though the map is in the second bubble from the left. I'm going to click on that bubble. And I'm going to click here for gross receipts, tax rates by location. And this will open another tab in my browser and take me to the a page that contains the map. There are a few folders here at the top of the page. This first folder has the current tax rate schedules in it. Uh, the second folder contains uh, PDF static maps that show gross receipts symbolized across the state of New Mexico. And the third folder down here has previous tax rate schedules. A note here just below these folders is our GIS data disclaimer. And if you click here, you can read the disclaimer. Thanks for becoming familiar with this. It's important to know that TRD is a data aggregator, meaning that we collect boundary data from local and other taxing jurisdictions. Our boundary representations are a direct reflection of what we're able to acquire from the local data stewards in our cities, counties, and tribal areas. And I want to stress the importance of consulting with local jurisdictions if there are any questions about location codes, especially if a transaction or site is close to a boundary between two tax rate areas. If at all possible, in these cases, confirm you're using the correct location code with a local govern, government authority, and I'll demonstrate that when we uh, get to using the map. Scroll down a little bit more. I've got some general map navigation and use instructions. It's important to note that this uh, map will work within uh, not only a computer browser, um, but also in browsers on tablets and mobile devices like phones. Um, it is not an application that you can buy on Apple's App Store. Um, or buy or download from Google Play. Um, again, it does need to run within a browser um, on your mobile devices or tablets. Further down, uh, just a caution about the address search. This address locator um, is not based on any TRD data source. It's a web map service provided by the vendor we use to publish this map. You can use it to navigate to a general area of interest, but be aware there may not be an exact match to the address you're wanting to locate. This would be especially true of our more rural areas. If you're unable to locate a match, use the zoom and the pan functions to move to your area of interest. And again, I'll be demonstrating that in just a few moments. I'm going to demonstrate the use of this map within this particular tab on this page. Um, but if you did want another view of the map, this link directly above the map will take you to our TRD web map portal. I'm going to click on that right now. We have a couple of other web maps located on this page, including property tax rate districts and the rural areas film tax credit. The gross receipt map that you're going to be showing, uh, seeing me demonstrate is right here. If I click on this, it's going to open the map in another tab and provide a, a little bit more screen space to work with. Um, so all of the functionality will be here, but I'm going to demonstrate that from this other page. In the upper left-hand corner of the map, there are a couple of navigation tools. A zoom in is plus, a zoom back out is minus, or go to a smaller scale. Your mouse wheel will also work here. 
Um, if you do have a mouse wheel, you can roll it up or down to zoom in and zoom out. If the device you're working from is location enabled, you can click this Find My Location and it will automatically zoom to wherever you're browsing from. Um, again, your device needs to be location enabled for that to happen. And if you zoom to a particular extent and want to back out to the statewide view, then you would use this home button right here. And that'll zoom you back out to the statewide extent. These tools here um, along the top, the first is the layer tool. You can click on that and open it. And I can toggle the gross receipts layers off and on using the text box here. Uh, right now we're looking at the current gross receipts tax rate layer and schedule. If I wanted to look at previous layers, I could click those off and on by clicking the box there. The next tool over to the right is the base map gallery. I'm going to click on that. Um, right now we're looking at the topographic map underneath the gross receipts layer, but if I wanted to switch to a different base map, um, I could choose one of those to look at underneath this layer, and I'll demonstrate that in just a moment. If I build a map that I want to print, there's some very limited print functionality with this button here. And again, if I build a map that I need to share, I can click on the Share tool, and it will copy the link uh, to that extent, and I can either email that or text it to somebody who may be interested in this map extent. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to start out by using the address locator. And I'm going to type in 400 North Pennsylvania. Yeah. And as you can see, it's auto populating addresses down below for me to select from. I want to be in Roswell. And as you can see, it's auto-populated 400 North Pennsylvania in Roswell. So I'm going to click on that, and the map is going to zoom to that location. I'm going to close out this little pop-up, and I'm going to switch to the imagery base map right here so that I can see what's underneath that. This happens to be a TRD district office in Roswell. I'm going to back out a little bit. I'm going to start by using the minus button, but again, I can also use my mouse wheel and I'm rolling down the mouse wheel right here. And I'm rolling out back far enough so that I can see a location code boundary appear. That's what this red line is. Again, this is not an automated tool in any way. It's not going to automatically find a location code and rate for you. You have to actively click on the map. So I'm going to do that now. And as I do that, you're going to see the boundary highlight in cyan. And you're going to see a pop-up window appear. This has all of the attribute data associated with this tax rate area. Um, and this is modeled di directly from the, tax, um, the schedule. So you should find the same information here as you will on the schedule. Right now, there's a kind of a minimum view of this pop-up. I'm going to click the max Maximize button here and expand this. And so for Incorporated Roswell, uh, we've got a location code of 04-101 and a base rate of 7.8333. In addition to the location code and rate, we have link to our data disclaimer. If I needed to read that, I would copy and paste that. We also have a link to the GRT rate schedule. Um, so I could open that from here as well. And information about the uh, tri tribal cooperative agreements and the note keys. And again, this is modeled directly from the rate schedule. So if there were any notes, those would appear uh, right here. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to change the base map back to the topographic map. And then I'm going to click and drag east along East College Boulevard. And I'm going to roll my wheel up and zoom in a little bit. Click and drag to pan. And I just want to 
illustrate the importance of the partnership that we have with our local government jurisdictions to acquire really good boundary data. Um, you'll note on the topographic map that we have a fairly um, old version, um, a rather dated topographic map underneath. But if I switch to the base map again, the imagery base map, you can see the data that we actually acquire from the city of Roswell is far more accurate. And again, I want to illustrate here that we are close to a location code boundary. So it's all possible to confirm uh, you're using the right code and rate with a local jurisdiction do that. But again, it's not an automated tool. So if I want to find the location code for this particular site, I'm going to click here. I'm going to open the pop-up and get the code and the rate from the pop-up. So this, again, is unincorporated Chavez County, remainder of county. So this is outside the city limits. If I click in here, I'm going to get the city of Roswell and their um, relevant location code and tax rate. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to switch back to the topographic base map. Really not necessary if you don't want to. Close that out and then I'm going to click the home button and go back to my default statewide extent for this particular map. That's a brief tour of how to use the interactive gross receipts map. And we do have the other interactive web maps that I showed you in the link above. Right here. And for those who want to use the GIS data that is behind this map, this actual gross receipts layer, uh, we have another page that has the data downloads on it. So I'm going back to the TRD front page, clicking on businesses, geographic information systems over here on the right, and data download. So for those who are able to use GIS data, and that is available for download from this page right here. Thanks very much for watching this video and I hope it was helpful.